The physics of attraction and repulsion is what we're going to explore today using static electricity. So I want all of you to pay careful attention to your experiments and please make sure that you take detailed notes. Will you be my friend, Toby Isaacs? Can you shut up and do your work? Even I died 10,000 years you ago. You ruined this. You be my friend? No. no. You have the cutest little bones. I bet you say that to all the skeletal mastodons. No, just you. I'm going to kissy kissy you, Oliver. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> to York. Uh, sorry, Miss Hasselakos. Uh, I'm sorry, too. No, don't listen to him. He's lying. <laughs> One week guinea pig duty. Every day, before and after school, right here with me. Oh, good morning, JT. Okay, let's get started, right this way. So, we mainly feed the guinea pigs dried Timothy grass, supplemented with pellets, fresh vegetables. Of course, they always need a fresh supply of water. Do you mind? Oh, sorry. Oh, is that your pen on the ground? No, nope. it must be yours. Okay, let me introduce you to the brood. Right here we have Jasper, Bismarck, and this cutie is Isabella. <laughs> She's like a big ball of fluff. A really fat ball of fluff. Yeah, she is much bigger than usual. Well, look at you. You have the magic touch. Did you ever think of becoming a veterinarian? I tried once, but there aren't enough recipes. Plus, I love meat. I uh, said veterinarian, not vegetarian. I know, I was just joking. Uh... The medium is the message. Does anyone know who said that? Marshall McLuhan, the godfather of modern media and communications. And did you know McLuhan was Canadian? Hey. Born in Alberta, but he spent most of his How was your quality time with Miss Hot Sauce? And he came up with a lot of original Hot theories about the relationship saucy. between culture, communication, Full report. and technology. Now. He wrote about the methods or First, mediums I did one of these. used to communicate with one another. Oops. Then she bent down to pick it up. Oh. JT, is this yours? Yeah. Yeah. You want to pay attention? Okay. We're talking about prints, telephones. Radio, television, you guys can't imagine the things I saw. It was really fascinating with advertising. His first book <laughs> that he said that advertising isn't about giving information. Not bad, Gavin, but what exactly is a sexagram? That thingy with six points. Uh, no, that's a hexagram. Oh, oops. Come take a look at this. You really need to take another look at your answer for problem number 10. Oh, that has to be a trick question. Uh, no, just a uh, simple bath of uh, math. 
Julian, can I see your assignment, please? Is that spinner that smells? Should we tell him? Honesty never hurts. Rule number one of puberty, shower every day. Dude, dude, the truth. Do I stink? Um, yeah, actually, you smelled really bad all week. Well, why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Well, better I hear from you than Ellie, dude. The truth from now on. You can't handle the truth! <laughs> Jack, Jack Nicholson? Um, okay, but this, it's serious. It's important. Come on, let's make a pact. Sure, man. Whatever. Shoot. Okay, if it takes Fred 45 seconds to fill his 10-liter fish tank, how long will it take him to fill his other tanks? Now, five of them are five-liter tanks, and 10 of them are two-liter tanks. Yeah, uh, I think Fred needs to get a life. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. York. JT has a life. He's got a new girlfriend. Really? You mean Liberty? Finally. Nope. Ms. Hot Solakos. That is so typical. <laughs> no, so JT. Immature and dumb. Why? What's wrong with a younger guy dating an older woman anyway? <laughs> There's a rule. The youngest you can date is half your age plus seven. So for Miss H, who's what? 30? That's 15 plus seven. Which is 22. And we're short by a couple of years. And more than a couple of feet. <laughs> Melanda stared into the soul of the eclipse and saw the world for what it was. A shadow of black, empty, despairing nothingness. Wow. Happy. Thoughts, anyone? Jimmy Brooks? Oh, um, well, I, you know, thought it was poetic. Yo, you made a promise, dude. Shut up. Gentlemen, if you have any comments, please share them with the class. I don't. Oh, he does, Miss Kwan. Jimmy? OK, uh, I thought you were trying way too hard to be profound, and you just lost the story. Honestly, it sounded like a suicide note. Well, I wouldn't expect a conformist to understand. Ashley, this exercise is about constructive criticism. Okay, we've got about 15 minutes left. Enough time for two more volunteers. Anyone? Steven, are you ready to read? Hey, what's up? A reminder to all JT. I want to show you something. Today is bacon chili burger supreme. Or I'll bet she does. <laughs> Well, I thought about what you said about Isabella's weight problem. Well, it's not that. She's pregnant. <laughs> wow. A hundred little guinea pigs just waiting to be born. Well, more like three or four. I can feel them inside her. That's how I realized. Here. Oh. Right there. Can you feel them? Wow. I can't believe Isabella's gonna be a mom. That is so cool. Does she need anything, like a special diet or something? How about I do some research? That'd be great. That'd be a great help. Thanks, JT. Okay, it's okay. What are you doing here? And on your lunch hour? <sighs> Just trying to do some research for Miss Atsilakos. You're spelling? Uh, there is such a thing as privacy, you know. Yeah, I know, but. Oh. Thanks. No problem.
Now, when Manny rubs the balloons on her hair, they become negatively charged. And they become attracted to her positively charged hair. Now, the moment Manny steps away, the balloons repel because they're both negatively charged. Ms. Hatsalakos, can I see you for a second? Um, sure. Why don't you continue blowing up your balloons and I'll just be a minute. Uh, looks like your girlfriend has a boyfriend. <laughs> Mr. Armstrong is married. So? Miss Hatsalakos isn't. She's not like that. It's a joke. Yeah, I remember. You used to tell them? Hello. I'm a mastodon. Tony, oh, shut up. I'm trying to concentrate. Sorry, Liberty. So, teacher's pet, uh, when is Miss H getting you your own cage? <laughs> I'm not her pet. Oh, really? Let's see here. We got Jasper, Bismarck, Isabella, JT. Mm -hmm. Is this his cage? Kind of small. <laughs> What's the matter, Sean? Huh? You jealous? <laughs> you want to be my other gay pig boy? Oh, and what about you, Toby? <laughs> my, 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 you're a frilly one. <laughs> <laughs> Ash and I were this close to reconnecting, and you had to ruin it with your stupid honesty pact. Dude, you did her a favor. She should have thanked you. Yeah, well, tell her that. Spin, sometimes people don't want the whole truth. Well, then they're stupid. If it was me, I'd want the whole truth, Enchilada. Jimmy. Ash, um, look, I'm really sorry about yesterday. Actually, you saved my story. What? You were right. I went through it last night and made some changes, and it is way better. I like this new Jimmy. I guess you were right, man. All honesty, all the time from now on. Good. Uh, can I be honest with you? Go ahead. We're tight. OK. You and Ash getting back together? Stupidest idea I ever heard. What? Well, you become this weak, pathetic puppet when she's around. And she's the evil puppet master. Here, th this is you. Ashley, I don't want to go whoosh. OK, OK, I'm going whoosh. Ow, oh, that hurt. Ow. OK, OK, I get it. Thanks for the honesty. Dude, my pleasure. Sorry, okay? I apologize. Thank you. That's it? Pardon me? I apologized. What more do you want? JT, do you know why I'm angry? Because of the thing I did. Yes, but do you know why I'm really angry? Look, you're funny, okay? But you're also very intelligent. And you're just wasting it by always being the class clown. Just wasting it. Well, then I'll just stop wasting your time. I'll transfer out of your class. Well, you do whatever it is you need to do. What are you doing? School's out. Uh, it's an honesty list about Spinner. Are you crazy? No, it's constructive criticism. You're cheap. Very constructive. OK, don't make me start a Terry list. Top item, nosy. Doesn't mind own business. Oh, 
great. Hello? Oh no. Miss H! Miss Hatzelakov! Miss H, I'm on my way out. Yeah, I know, but I need your help. Well, my office is open early tomorrow. No, it's Isabella. She got out of her cage. What? Oh no. I was just on my way to clean the room, and the door was locked. I was just walking by, and I saw that she was underneath her desk. The cage. Wait. There she is. Okay. Shh. Let's be very quiet. Okay. Close door behind you. All right. Try not to scare her. Come on, Isabella. I'll try and push her towards you. That's a good girl. Come on. Uh, uh, oh. You go this, that way, go that way. Okay, okay. Oh, there she is. Quiet. Shh. I got her. I got her. I got her. I got her. Ow. Ow. Stop. Oh, my elbow. Oh, there she is. Where did she go? Right there. Right there. Where? Where'd she go? Looks like she just found a dark, safe spot to have her babies. That's what they like to do. I did some guinea pig research on the computer. She's not safe, JT. The janitor spread rat poison all around the school because of rodent problems. What? Yeah. Uh, Isabella, come on! 16 dances like a stupid robot, 17 bad tasting movies, and 18 shoots baskets like a girl. Okay, dude, are you done? Um, one more thing. You say dude like every third word. Oh, yeah? Well, you have a shiny forehead, what? dude. And uh, can you stop copying You're me? You're the one that copies me. OK, poppy seed bagels. The seeds stick to your teeth, and you walk around all day like some poppy tooth freak. What? Shrimp chips. They make you stink up the change room. Shrimp and B.O. You're a bum, and you hang out at my house too much. That's because you pee on the toilet seat. My mom doesn't want you over. What? Come on, Isabella. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is all my fault. I think I left her cage open when I fed her. No, no, it's not your fault. Come on. Ugh. Can I can't reach quite her? reach her. Well, it doesn't look like she's coming out anytime soon. Look, JT, I can stay. You can go. No. Look, can you call my parents? Tell them I'm staying here until Isabella comes out. OK, but this could take a while. It's OK. Maybe we have to lure her out. Make it seem more comfortable out here. It's hopeless. If I wasn't so tired. I saw on the net that they like soft music and low light. Hey. You ever wonder why they call them guinea pigs? I mean, they're not from Guinea, and they're not pigs. They're rodents. Exactly. It's like quicksand. They call it quicksand, but it actually works really, really slowly. And a boxing ring is square. Stand-up comic, huh? All right, I can see it. So, should I give up my dreams of vethood? No. You should do exactly what it is that you want to do. But make sure you graduate from school first. Are you always a science teacher? I mean, never a, a model? Teaching is my life, JT. And that's why what you did really hurt me. I'm sorry, OK? I really am. Uh, JT, your plan worked. <laughs> Look. Close the door. Ah, All right. Yes. Good job. <laughs> Any more honesty you want to share? Um, yeah. Your idea sucked. Yeah, the truth does hurt. OK, let's take out your copies of the chrysalids. Gentlemen, 
there something wrong? Um, no, N nothing at all, honestly. Uh, okay. Yeah, we were just uh, talking about how stunning you look today, Miss Kwan. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's start with the theme. Most futuristic science fiction falls in. Okay, got it. Oh. You know, I wasn't really going to transfer out of your class. Really? No, oh, maybe you should have. The tough part of the term starts today. I've got a killer pop quiz. <clears throat> gotcha. Okay, how did everyone do with their homework hey. assignment? I heard you had a little quality time last night with Miss Hot Sauce. Yeah, so I throw Saboni. What happened? Last night? Well, the lights were dimmed. Soft music played on the radio. We just looked into each other's eyes. We were this close. And, and it was beautiful. Isabella crawled into her cage and had her babies 15 minutes later. That's it? That's all? Hey, guinea pig childbirth is a very exciting process, guys. So, uh, this is the palace. I always wondered what it looks like in here. Yeah. Okay, so... Chemistry. I hate chemistry. Right. Um, the periodic table. Who created... Careful. The chair's broken. Oh. Um, you gotta lean forward. Okay. Yeah, I so the care. periodic table. I don't care. Look, tell that knob that I don't give a flying. Look, if he wants to talk to me that way, then I quit. And that's it. Hey. Sorry. Nice to see you. How's it going, Am? Good. Welcome to our uh, very, very humble abode. What you guys doing? I was just doing Staying some chemistry, thing. huh? That's cool. Go build no bombs, so, um... Yeah, um, I guess we're just gonna go to the library then. That's Jack cool, and... yeah. Okay, Em, good to see you. Take care of yourself, yes, all right? Now, that's the kind of teamwork I want to see in the regionals, gentlemen. No problem. Got it, coach. Good work. Man, man, you guys, you really do play great together, like Vince and JYD. Oh, boy, did I just break the don't talk to Sean and Jimmy at the same time rule? Shut up, Spinner. No, you shut up. I mean, OK. You two, you had a fight a long, long time ago. Why don't you just let it go? Ask him. I'm having a party tonight to celebrate making the regionals, and you can bring him if you want to. Cool. 
Oh, you too. You make me very, very happy. Dude, dude. Armpits. You're the face. So, is Sean excited about tonight? And um, you didn't tell him, did you? If I told him last week, he would have worried himself into a coma. Well, enough's enough. You have to tell him, like, right now. Sean. Emma. Hi, um, are you busy tonight? Why am I getting that weird, scary vibe? Um, because, uh, I know this sounds awful, but my parents were wondering if maybe you wanted to come to dinner. No. But you have to, I told them you're coming. Emma, we have Jimmy's party tonight. We were invited. Yeah, I know, but I think my parents will be a little more disappointed if you don't show up than Jimmy will. Ooh. Hey, one more for you. Chitara. Chit Emma. It's a kind of sushi. You know, raw fish. Yeah, I know. Anyway, my mom makes it for a special occasion, so you have to come. We'll go to Jimmy's after, I promise. Oh, please. Checking out Ashley, huh? Dude, could you be any more predictable? Look, okay, Ash has changed. She's not the same girl she was last year. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. She's become a vampire. I'm not talking about her style. I mean, she's more down to earth. Yeah. Oh, Tara, I'm having a party tonight at my house. Can you make it? Totally. Tell Ash she can come, too, if she wants. It's no big deal. Uh, she can be too big deal. Mm -hmm. My armpit smell. About hands or feet. Are we supposed to understand what that means? It means my weekend at the spa with mom includes either a free manicure or pedicure at my choice. You're missing Jimmy's party for a pedicure. No, for a spa weekend. Look, it's more fun than a room full of Neanderthals. So, well, how about you? I'd have more fun sculpting my earwax. <laughs> Why? Are you going? No, I don't think so. Ash, you so want to go. But he didn't really invite me. He just sort of invited me. See the way he looks at you. He still likes you. I'm not sure I believe that, Ter. Well, only one way to find out. Sean, it's just a job, OK? I mean, it's going to be all right. You know what? That's what Dad said. And it never was. I know. I know, but me and you, we're not mom and dad, right? No. We live like them. You're out of work. Yeah, money's important, Sean, but so's my pride. You know what, Tracker? You sound just like dad. Whenever he lost his job, or whenever he quit, or whenever he got fired, and he Yeah, just... except for then, he'd go and take all of our money and blow it on booze. You see me doing that? No. That's right. <laughs> Look, I got a job interview lined up for tomorrow. Does that sound like Dad? Aren't you special? I'm trying. Where are you going with my pickled herring, punk? Tonight, I, I have dinner with Emma's parents. Well, isn't that nice? Say hello to the family for me. <laughs> Um, nervous? Not for me, for Sean. You guys aren't gonna grill him, right? Just the octopus. But I, I hear you, okay? Black. <sighs> Just relax. You know, I was reading that uh, the average sumo wrestler weighs around 400 pounds, and one of the best tipped the scale at 700 pounds. Can you believe that? That's because they eat like a ton of rice, morning, noon, and night. Mm. Speaking of rice, and I think I'm going to have some more of the kamaboko. So, Sean, I uh, hear you're quite the basketball star. 
Uh, I'm okay, I guess. Well, don't be modest. I saw you tearing up the court the other day. Your parents must be proud. Uh, Emma, can you pass the uh, negator, please? Yeah, sure. Uh, they're in Wasaga Beach. I live with my brother. Oh, right. Uh, Mom, um, the California roll looks great. What does your brother do? Well, he's... Sick. It's all right. Emma, it's all right. He installs side view mirrors on minivans. No, he's an auto worker. It's a noble profession. Yeah, he quit yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, you guys mind if I get some water? No, not at all. Help yourself. You guys, I thought I asked you not to do this. It's just that children shouldn't have to live with that kind of stress. Does anybody else want any water? No, I think we're all fine. Have you uh, seen any good movies lately? Mm, no. <laughs> oh, uh, I really like them. Uh, Mr. Simpson, Snake and I, we like them. Going to them, don't we? Yeah, yeah, well, a lot. Popcorn, soda, Godzilla. <laughs> cool. Emma, you want some more pie? Yeah, sure. Oh! oh. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. Here, let, let me help you clean No, up. it's Here, okay. No, it. really, I'll just go change. Uh, you know, I feel like some coffee. I'm gonna put a pot on. So, uh, Snake and I are really glad that you could come. It's given us a chance to get to know each other a bit more. Problem. Anytime. Hey, why don't I pack you up some leftovers? You, you already made me dinner. <laughs> Give you a nice home-cooked meal. Because I don't get nice home-cooked meals at home? Sean, we just have extra. <laughs> For a welfare case. That's not what I was saying. Sean, where are you going? Sean. <laughs> I shouldn't be here. Spinner! Hey! Uh, Terry, Ash, uh, great, you came. Uh, where's Paige? At the spa. But we're here. Oh, yeah, uh, great, that's... Oh. You should go find Jimmy. I already have. So, you came. I came. It's good. Good. Hey, Jimmy. Sorry, I got guests to attend to. I'll, I'll catch you later. Wow. Guess you really didn't want me to come after. You know the feeling. Show I love the respect. Cause I know that you got to break in the neck. I keep it hot like fire. Hey, I. Where's Sean? He, uh, he left. What? Why? What did you say? Nothing. I 
I offered him leftovers, he totally misunderstood, and, and that's all. Honest. Yeah, really. Emma. Where are you going? To find him. Oh, yeah. no, it's going on. Hey. There's a party here. Yeah, I thought you were coming, man. No, I am. This is a party. I love parties. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. party. <laughs> anyway, you know, gotta get to my ladies. Tend to them. See you later. Sweet man. He's got ladies. Yo, what's going on, buddy? What do you say? Yeah. Um. You been drinking? No. Maybe a little. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's go. Yo, introduce me to some people. Jimmy! What's going on, man? Hey, you made it. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? What's up, man? Uh, napkin, napkin, napkin. What is it? Catch you boys later? Yeah. So, uh, where's Emma? Emma? Uh, she's at home. Uh, with Bru. What? You guys just got back together. I know, all right? But her mom called me a total welfare case or something, so I told her off and I left. I, I totally freaked out and whatever, okay? It's over. And obviously Emma's never gonna forgive me. You don't know that. Call her. No, man. It's over, all right? <laughs> Big up both. Okay. 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 You coming? Yeah, just give me a minute. Plus me, destiny. Okay, let's go. Ash, you can't go. Uh, yes, I can. No, no, but we didn't talk yet. You've got a lot of guests. You're the guest I want to be with. I can stick around for a bit. That's great. said the, the truth. Sean, are you drunk? Where did you get that? My host, Jimmy Brooks. Yeah, and it's time for a refill. Sean! No, oh, Emma, calm down. What are you Sean. gonna give me for it? Hey, Sean! Chill. No! What, what are you gonna give me for Sean. it? Sean! So you, you come to my house to steal my parents' booze. Jimmy, come on, man. Y your parents are so rich, they won't even know. Just get out of here. At least let me clean it up. Just get out! You know what, um, 
Terry's waiting. I don't feel good. I have to go home. Why do you even bother? What are you talking about? Just a big, stupid loser. My, my parents are drugs. My, my brother's out of work. Just a big, stupid loser like them. Yeah, so is that what you want me to say? Do you want me to call you a big, stupid loser, Sean? Is that what you want? Who are you calling? My mom. What? No, hang up. Mom, you know you said if I ever needed you pick me up, no questions asked? Great, we're outside Jimmy's. How's your hand? I survive. I'm sorry about the other night. Ah, uh, party got out of hand. I caught serious flag though. That's not what I mean. I mean... Oh, uh, look, I guess it's kind of my fault, because I weirded you. So now we're even. Hey, Jimmy. Because I screwed up, all right, Emma? One. Everybody screws up one. Emma, homeroom is about to start. I know, but this is more important to so stop. Things are always gonna be like this. Like what? Me screwing up. It's in my blood. It's in your head, and that's all. Your mom and Simpson aren't gonna be as forgiving. Did my mom give you the third degree? No. I mean, if she has to drive you home drunk a second time, it might be a different story. You don't have to worry about that, all right? The tracker gave me a lecture, and I just don't... Okay, but this isn't about tracker or your parents or my parents. This is about you and me. Sean, I like you. Thank you, too. Over here, Liberty, pass! All right, the final roster will be posted tomorrow. Not everyone made the cut, but today I was really impressed with all your effort. Good stuff, everyone. Ooh, that was a good game. You ready? Yeah. Uh, Liberty, nice effort out there. I was pleased with my stick handling, though my scoring could have been better. You didn't score. We'll need to work on that if I'm going to lead our team to victory. I know how much this means to you, but I'm sorry, Liberty, you didn't make the cut. There must be a mistake. I've never lost anything in my life. Well, you haven't lost, because I do want you on the team. To do what? For the role of team manager. This team really needs you. Team needs me? Then I'm there. Great. Whatever it takes.
Awesome, I made it. Great. <laughs> now for the initiation. Initiation? <laughs> Congratulations, one and all. Thanks. Sorry you didn't make the team. But your manager. That's good. That's great. And believe me, I'm gonna keep you girls in line. The outline for your essay is strong and thought-provoking. Napoleon was fascinating. I only hope my essay does him justice. I'm sure it will. You always accomplish what you set out to do. Not always, but thank you, sir. A strong fate line means you know what you want to do. But my lifeline's so faint. Your quest for meaning will be an eternal one. Didn't you learn anything last year about playing with dark magic? Wow, deja vu. Freaky occult and Ash freaking out. <laughs> you have to have a little respect. And I have to have a little fun. So, Tara, read the poem. What's it say, Mystic Oracle? It's, it's great. Your palm's perfect. <laughs> um, hon, I was kind of looking for a reading. Morning, class. Let's open our textbooks to chapter 12, polynomials. What do you see, Terry? I see Paige Michaelchuk in detention after school. Avoiding me all day. Not you. Paige. Why? Your fate line was really faint. Paige's lifeline doesn't exist. Her days are numbered? Whose days are numbered? Either you tell me what you saw in my palm or my nails get up close and personal with your face. Okay. Your palm. No lifeline. You're gonna die. So, Liberty, how do you like being team manager? Great. I love it. How come the girls get to wear these ratty things and the boys get uniforms? Well, that's because we didn't budget for a girls' floor hockey team. We didn't think there'd be so much interest. You do know boys' teams get 80% of the athletics budget. That's because there's more boys' teams. Money's tight for all teams these days. There must be a way around it. What about fundraisers or sponsorships? Sure. That takes a lot of work. Mr. Armstrong works my forte, and I know exactly where to start. Plus, you can write the sponsorship off as a tax credit. Yes, I know, but the boys have already asked me to sponsor their basketball team. They don't need your help, Mr. Jeremiah. We do. But the Panthers have done awesome all year. Yes, and we can too if we get the same full support. <sighs> Look, say your daughter was on our team. Would you want her wearing this? We need this, Mr. Jeremiah. OK, look, I, I can't sponsor both teams, but I'll think about it, OK? Our new jersey design. Wow, that's awesome, Liberty. Yeah, yeah that's really smooth. good. Thanks. We do have to convince Mr. Jeremiah to sponsor us and not boys basketball, but a minor detail. Yeah, like the boys need funding. I know girls, you're excited about this, but even with sponsorship, we're not gonna win anything unless we practice. Okay, so take your positions. We're gonna do passing drills. All right, so you're like... Owen, can you clean the pennies and need washing? I just washed them the other day. I know, they're dirty again. Okay, girls, come on, can we focus, please? Here. 
In palmistry, no one indicator by itself is conclusive. Okay. Which hand did she read? Um, my left. And you're right-handed. And your point is? You're supposed to read someone's dominant hand, the one you use. Hey, I, I do have a lifeline. Here, Paige, to express my grief. Um, thanks. Anything I can do for you in your time of need, let me know. Anything. So when are you gonna tell her? About my miraculous recovery from the brink of death? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Liberty, we just wanted to say that we really appreciate what you tried to do. Thanks, but Miss H put me in my rightful place. The laundry room. Van Zandt, what's up with trying to steal our sponsorship? Yeah, uh, who cares about girls' sports? Except, of course, mud wrestling. Look, you girls are crazy. Jeremiah's gonna back us because we're a winning team. You really think you're better than us? Uh, welcome to the conversation. Yeah. Then prove it. Floor hockey. Girls versus boys. Uh, Liberty. Okay. Say, um, winner gets a sponsorship? And loser does the other team's laundry for a week. Awesome. I sweat like a pig. Yeah, I got some pants in my pocket. So whose idea was this again? Well, I am not coaching you guys so you can get into a grudge match with the boys over bragging rights. It's not about bragging rights. It's about a sponsorship. But why gamble for it? Let Mr. Jeremiah decide. He can't, so we have to do this. Look, I know this is very important for you, but between school and preparing you girls for the actual competition, I can't help you with this. I'm sorry. But we need a supervisor. Yes. Yes, you do. Great. Now, who's gonna coach us? I will. And I'll lead us to victory like Napoleon in the Battle of Leipzig. One hundred days to glory. Our strategy. It outlines what we have to do to win the regionals. Yoga, meditation, and no junk food. To achieve perfection, one must envision perfection. Envision, achieve, win. A simple formula. And what is she? Oh my gosh, I can't. You've got to be kidding. Napoleon said if you want authority, you must dress the part. I look <laughs> regal, commanding, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. Silence! <clears throat> Liberty, I can't practice today. I sort of have my period. Penny. A true champion doesn't let a silly little monthly visitor stand between her and victory. Now let's get started. And then I realized I'll never have a driver's license or a senior prom. Tear, I'm too young to die. <laughs> a reminder from Coach Armstrong, the boys basketball. Don't cry. Can I get you anything? Sure. And maybe you could even do my book report for Quan. With all this stress you brought me, how am I supposed to concentrate? You're right. I'm there. <laughs> you stay in the left wing, allowing the four checkers to go deep in the offensive zone. What's this play called again? The left wing lock. It limits breakout space and forces the opposition's defense to carry the puck or bank it up in the boards. Girls, this is child's play. <laughs> hey, little Miss Happy Face, what's a neutral zone trap, huh? 
I don't know. Page 16, did you read it? Maybe you don't know how to read. Why are you picking on me? Because you're the weakest link. Attention students, a friendly request from our custodial staff that you use the garbage cans provided in all corridors. Don't test me, Kendra. Why not, Napoleon? If we want to win, you players need to pull together. We're not going to win, Liberty. Not with you barking orders. They're not orders, they're plays. We don't understand them. They're useless. Kind of like you as coach. Ew. Finished. Tear your head. Oh, I could sit when I'm stressed. I just emailed your report. I didn't get mine done, but that's okay. I only lose 10%. Are you sure? Oh, thanks. Who said dying wasn't any fun? <laughs> Hey, Terry. What's up? Trying to figure out when I can get some sleep. Being Terry and Paige is hard work. Can I talk to you about that? What? Well, let's just say when I tell you, you're gonna want to kill someone who's technically already dying. What are they doing, putting on their makeup? Close set, everybody out. Um, it's just a hockey game, Liberty. No, Spinner, it's your funeral. Last time, out. You, Panther, scoreboard. I can't. Okay, girls, remember what Napoleon said. One must know when to leave the skin of a lion to take the skin of a fox. So, get out there and give it to them, right? Right. right. Ready? Seeing as your homework's already done. And maybe we could even get Terry to pay. <laughs> Ashley on a Ouija board. Terry told me the sad news. I thought that we should get a second opinion. Hey, Terry, wouldn't it work better if Paige was sitting here? Yes, it would. Do I have to do anything? No. Just watch and read. Mystic Oracle, is it true? Is what true? That you and Hazel played me for a fool? Well, I, I really better get going. You're dead, Michael Chuck. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Oh, get back. Hold on. You okay? Help me get her up, guys. Get her up. Get her up. Oh, 
slowly. Where does it hurt? Are you okay? It's my wrist. I landed on it. She's fine. You're fine, right? I don't want to take any chances. Manny, go see the nurse. No, she's going back out on the floor where we need her. I'm the ref, and I'm telling her to go see the nurse. After this period. Get someone else to play. Those girls, they're alternates for a reason, Joey. No. You're being a tyrant. I'm doing my job. Liberty, maybe you need to relax. And maybe you need to shut up and do what I tell you, all of you. Good luck trying to win short two players, Liberty. Someone make sure Manny goes to the nurse's office, please. I can't believe you girls. I thought you wanted to win. Not like this. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Got game's it. not over, guys. They can still come out and finish it. I can't believe you're all quitting. This is a team. We're not quitting the team, Liberty. We're quitting you. That's so unfair. Coaches are supposed to inspire people. You just bark at us. And give us crazy textbooks? A thousand ways to make us miserable. And stupid Kate. What's that whole thing with Manny? All right, I get the point. Look, you're a great team. Be mad at me, but don't let those guys win. Kendra, your slap shot is dead on. Emma, you're a good offensive captain. Focus on getting Kendra to the net. Let her do the scoring. And it's your game. She does have a point. We can't let those jerks get the jerseys. Let's get him. Liberty, we've got it covered, OK? All right, well, go get him. I'm the weakest link. Hey, Liberty. The game is still going on. What are you doing out here? I ruined everything, Miss H. What are you talking about? The girls all hate me. Did you push them too hard? I really wanted them to win those jerseys. It's a worthy cause. Yeah, but I think I squished out all the fun of playing. You know, Liberty, it's tough for any coach, balancing winning with having some fun. Yeah, and it's so not worth it. Having fun? Yeah, so much. Sorry we didn't win. You almost won. Losing by one point sucks, but impressive. Thanks. Not impressive enough to get Joey's uniforms, of course. I don't know about that. Girls? <gasps> Mr. Jeremiah said he hadn't seen such a great battle of the sexes since Billie Jean King beat Bobby Riggs. <laughs> Whoever they are. I don't understand. Joey's sponsoring both teams. We impressed him that much. Wow, you girls look incredible. You mean we look incredible. <sighs> Try it on. <laughs> it's perfect.
love it. It shows how glad I am we're back. Rediscovering each other. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I mean, last you were just this thing, but now we really connect. Here, let me play you the rest. Someone? Yeah, actually. My boyfriend. Tall, cute. Might have seen us together last year. Speaking of last year, grade eight you look. Grade eight, not exactly my best. Some of it was pretty good. So will you sign it? We're back together now, right? Back together. Sounds nice. So sign it. Okay, did my mom pick up my clothes? You look great. I look awful. You got that right, freak show. Try looking in the mirror. Be careful, Jimmy. Although it is nice of you to date the creepy chicks, leave the hot ones for us. Oh. Shut Sorry, Ash. Happens all the time. Jerks like him knew how beautiful you were on the inside and keep their mouth shut. It's the event of the year. Dr. Sally's sex talk. As if I could forget about it with you talking about it every two seconds. First you get the knowledge, then you get the power, then you get... What? Believe me, you don't want to know. Now, in addition to condoms, we have the pill, the diaphragm, and the IUD. Guys, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Maybe we'd feel a little more comfortable if Dr. Sally was here. Like I told you at the beginning of the class, Dr. Sally is in China. Well, send her a plane ticket or something. Being sexually responsible means being prepared. But the best form of protection is abstinence. What's, what's abstinence? Not having sex. No sex, you don't get pregnant or contract an STD. However, if you decide not to abstain, make sure you always have a condom on you. <laughs> Until next time, we hope you enjoyed this classic presentation of Taming of the Shrew. So, any thoughts on Shakespeare's comic masterpiece? Gavin? Um, maybe add a joke or two. You didn't find it funny. Funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, no, sorry. No need to apologize, because I'm offering you all a challenge. I've paired you up, and I want you to work on Act Two, Scene One. This play's been around for over 400 years, so it must be doing something right. What I want, guys, is a version that rings true for you. Have fun with it. Good morning, kids. For that's your name, I hear. Hey, I was thinking about our scene. And you wanted to shoot yourself? I can't believe we have to do this comedy. It's so... Sexist? Outdated? Unfunny? All three. So I was thinking. Why don't we show that? And play it for what's really going on. 
or not? No, totally. I'm just so glad we're on the same page. Yeah, Juan's gonna regret pairing us. Was it just me or was health class more than a little confusing? Why? Because Dr. Sally let us down? Because Dr. Sally didn't even... Would you shut up already? I mean condoms. They're confusing. Well, they're pretty simple, Tobes. You just open the package, slip them on, and... I mean, you know, when do we buy them? No time like the present. No other drill. Practice. I mean, we could meet the woman of our dreams tomorrow. I already met mine. Look, that is exactly why you want to be prepared. It's way too early for that. What if passion takes over someday and you, Toby Isaacs, get a chance to get it? Don't you want to be prepared? I guess. Yes, you do. So, drugstore, after school. Our studly future calls. The concept's hilarious. Us is a maid to bear, and so are you. <laughs> hey, guys, your boyfriend is sterile. Ciao. <laughs> Someone's having fun. Yeah, yeah, I've seen you be good. Of course, not as good as if I'd worked with my favorite partner. That's a joke, right? Burn it, please. Oh, but she looks so cute. So dinner. Just making burgers and craft dinner. You know, my parents missed you. So did I. And so I'm glad you're coming. JT, you do not need extra large. What does this mean, ribbed? For her pleasure. No idea. Mm, better find out. Did you see the uh, pina colada flavor? Yeah. Too bad they don't have bacon. So what'd you get? Mmm. The force is strong within you. Come on, let's go. Okay, so call me later. Okay, bye. Oh, we just want to be ready, you know? He, he does. And, and me, and me. Together. But, but not together. Uh, could we have those in separate bags, please? And, uh, maybe your phone number? <laughs> Did Dr. Sally come today? Uh, no. Armstrong filled in. Did he give out condoms? What? No. Not that that's any of your business. Relax. I just think that kids should have access to condoms. It's an important issue. Hey, eh, Jimmy? Sure it is. Ah, uh, I'm starving. I don't know. Teachers giving out condoms suggest that kids should be having sex. Well, kids are going to have sex, Jeff, but at least they should be protected. Jimmy, what do you think? I'm not sure. You all have really good points. OK, and what's your point? I think Jeff's right. Handing out condoms sends a message. Sorry. Don't be. You're allowed to have an opinion. I just wish I didn't have to drag it out of you. What are you doing? You're the genius who talked me into buying them. They're your problem now. For I am born to tame you, Kate. And bring you from a wild cake to a cake confrab cake confrar confrab. That's it, Spinner. Walk and talk. <laughs> Ooh, JT the stud. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> Guys, they're not mine. <laughs> then whose are they? They must be Toby's. That's Ew. gross. <laughs> 
That is so classic. Toby? Kendra? She's planning with no. my sister? Spinner, it's just... When I find Isaacs, he's finished. Attention staff and visitors. There is a dark green... You need some help with that? <sighs> sure. It's for Jimmy. Yeah. Thanks. No problem. Hope he likes it. Jimmy, for your locker. Thanks. <sighs> um, it's supposed to replace that one. More pictures of you, the better. What? <sighs> Nothing. Just. What? <sighs> Which picture do you like better? I like them both. You didn't answer my question. Ash. Speak your mind. I mean it. Which do you like more? The old one. Okay. The old one. I'll be honest, I don't get it. This is who I've been since before we met. Ash, wow. Well, you, you actually look alive. Thanks, I think. I was just getting used to the whole goth thing. This is so... Tamed. Everyone take your seats, please. Spinner's locker page? Why do you want me to die? I'm trying to save your life. Look, if we can figure out his schedule, maybe you can try to avoid him for the rest of the year. And what about Kendra? She probably thinks I'm slime. You'll explain it to her. She'll understand. Everything will be fine. Or not. Don't open it. Too late. What grade am I in? Seven. And you thought I'd have sex with you, pervert? I know, I love existential jeans. That is like perfect. Yeah, I love the commercial when that hot guy says, life is meaningless without jeans. Existential. <laughs> I haven't seen that one. Don't worry, we'll get you back in the loop. Speaking of Luke, uh, what's with the style rewind anyway? You don't like it? Sure, but the uh, goth look was sort of working for you. Why the change? I have to go. I have to meet Craig. For I am born to tame you, Kate, and... Hey. Sorry, I'm late. And you are? Late. Sorry. Can we start? Yeah, sure. 
Good morrow, Kate, for that's your name, I hear. Wait. What, not strong enough? No, it's just... The way Petruchio wants to change Kate, isn't it out of love? That's what he claims. So? Well, so we're making him into a villain. What if we're wrong? Ash, the guy's a sexist pig. And abusive. I know, I read the play, but... But nothing. Even if he wasn't, he'd still be a jerk. Why? Because if he really loved Kate, he wouldn't want to change her. He'd love her for who she is. It's Judgment Day, Isaacs. Uh, go ahead. But I want you to know that the reason I bought that stuff was because I really like your sister. I mean, I really like her, but I wasn't thinking of having sex with her. We've only kissed one time. If you weren't thinking about it, why'd you buy all that stuff? Because if I was going to have sex with Kendra, which I'm not, I'd want to take care of her. I mean, having sex never even occurred to me until JT started talking about being prepared and JT. Uh, so this was JT's idea. No, 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 no. He just suggested that I buy that stuff, you know, ju you know, just in case. Break a leg. You too. You okay? Yeah, just a little nervous. It'll be great. I'll be right there watching. You guys are so cute. You skate not so. I chafe you if I tarry. Let me go. Nay. For I'm born to tame you, Kate, and bring you from a wild Kate to a Kate conformable with other household Kates. I must and will have Catherine to my wife. It kept my attention. Me too. Love the costumes. Why football? Well, we thought adding a modern twist would make it funnier. Tricky was a manly man. Making him a football player seemed perfect. And he makes Kate into the perfect wife for him. His own cheerleader. Good job. OK. Ashley and Craig. You ready? Yeah. For real. Kate, in sooth you scape not so. I chafe you if I tarry, let me go. Nay. Thou must be married to no man but me. For I am born to tame you, Kate, and bring you from a wild Kate to a Kate conformable as other household Kates. I must and will have Catherine to my wife. Wow. Intense. Uh, yeah, we saw it a bit differently. Ash? Um, it didn't seem like a comedy to us. It felt darker. Can you tell us why you felt that? It's about breaking a person, their spirit, taming them and making them into someone that they aren't, making them into a lesser version of themselves. Isaacs, just the man I was looking for. Like his new look? <laughs> okay, and now for your feet. No, Spinner, please, please, I promise I'll never buy condoms again. 
It is not about buying condoms. It's about Kendra. There's enough pressure out there about having sex. She doesn't need any more from you two. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Isaacs, hit the lights. I give you the human glow. <laughs> Hey. Hey. I signed it like you asked. We cling to one another. A storm raging around. My head slips under the water. You can't hear me cry. So I let go. Drift away. Leave your comfort behind. Save us. I've always 